Hey, uh, so today um, I wanted to show you guys how to take advantage advantage of a new feature in, in Zulu 3. I'm looking at the Zulu 2 page because we haven't pushed this out to the store yet. But in Zulu 3, you can use your own Google API key. Um, and we definitely are going to recommend that everyone take advantage of this. Uh, if you use your own Google API key, you get your own uh, API quota limit so you get your own one you know million requests per day to, to start with uh, as opposed to sharing the quota limit with the rest of the people using Zulu so I, th I think it'd be really beneficial for everyone to sort of get their own API key and get Zulu using that so um, you're not gonna run out of your quota or, or hit anything like or hit any errors like that uh, so first thing we need to do is get our own API key um, so we need to create a Google developer account and I'm actually going to open an incognito window uh, because Google likes to keep you signed into all your accounts and this is just sort of a, a way to create a new one easily. Um, and this is the address we're going to go to console.developers.google.com slash APIs slash dashboard. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and, and create a new account for this. Uh, you will need a legitimate email address for them for uh, to, to back the account. You could use a you could create a new Gmail account and use that here. Um, I, I would recommend if you're if you're setting this up that you create you know you create a new account where you're that that you're comfortable sharing the username and password with your other coworkers. If or other people who are going to be managing Zulu, uh, so that's why it's it's a good idea not to use a personal account for this because it's you know it's likely that you'll you'll need to have someone else go in and troubleshoot it at some point. So you want to be able to share those credentials. Um, So they're going to send me the code, let's get that, answer it in here, um, I need to verify this. One second. Just going to skip that for now. Okay, we'll agree to the terms of service, and um, we need to. Uh, first thing we'll need to do is is create a new project. So let's do that here. Um, we'll call that whatever whatever we want. And so let's select that. That's okay. That's still getting created. And now we want to search for the Google Calendar API, uh, and we need to enable this. So um, now we need to get our credentials, and we'll, we'll do that right here. We'll create credentials. Uh, so which API are you using? We're going to use the Google Calendar API. Where will we be calling the API from? Uh, Zulu runs in a, inside of a Tomcat web app. So uh, this we're actually going to be calling this from a web server. And um, we're going to be accessing user data. Uh, 
Uh, and so now we're going to create an OAuth 2.0 client ID. Um, uh, we can name this whatever we want. Uh, the uh, one really important step here is uh, the authorized redirect URI. Um, Zulu, uh, we have one set up that you can use. You're, you're free to, to, uh, to set up your own redirect. It basically just needs to uh, take the OAuth redirect and, 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 and you know, redirect that back to the Zulu interface. Um, so that the OAuth transaction can can be complete, uh, but if you want to use ours, which I think probably most people will, um, let me let me get that address for you. Okay, the redirect URI that you're going to want to be using is right here: http colon slash slash zulu auth dot three sixty works dot com slash zulu auth slash auth. So you'll want to enter that in here. And then we can create our OAuth client ID. Maybe click that again. There we go. Um, the rest of this can be, uh, you know, if you want to put in your own company's product name here, uh, that's fine. And I think we've got some, some other uh, options that are, th these are optional. Um, um, so I'm just going to continue and now we can download our keys so yeah I'm just going to put that on the desktop and let's take a look at these so what we're interested in is the client ID let me just pull that out So that's our client ID and we need our client secret as well. Um, so we'll just uh, we'll grab this client ID first. Uh, now right where, where do we where do we where do we put these so Zulu can use them? So if you open up a finder, and we need to navigate to the 360 works folder um, for default installations it's going to be library slash library this is the root of the hard drive slash library slash 360 works we can go in here and then um, it's in applications conf catalina localhost and then zulu.xml some of you may have already modified this file. There's some. There's a lot of customizations you can do in here for Zulu. The one we're interested in today is right here. The uh, uh, customize these parameters to use your own Google Calendar API key. So here we can put in the values we got in the previous step. So I'll go ahead and copy this, paste this in here. Same with our client secret uh, and then we'll want to save this um, now we need to restart Zulu and and that goes for any time that you make a change to this file that the changes to this file are only picked up when Zulu is restarted um, so so let's go ahead and and reboot Zulu best way to do that is to actually go back into that that 360 works folder uh, in slash library slash 360 works and you'll find the 360 works admin dot jar so let's double click this and we'll stop and start And looks like that started up okay. Now let's go take a look at, uh, if, if you want to be absolutely sure it's picking those credentials up, we can go look at the log file. 
Um, permissions on this are preventing me from looking at it. So let's modify those. I'm just going to give everyone read and write access. So now we should be able to look at that. And if we kind of scroll up a bit, we can get to the uh, the startup section here. I think we can just we can probably just do a search. Okay, here it is. Um, application dot init using custom Google client ID and secret. Uh, so that tells us that Zulu is using a custom. Uh, Google API key and uh, so uh, so right going forward this this is um this is really a step that you should take when you're first setting up Zulu on your server you want to get it using the custom key as soon as possible the reason being um, if uh, if you if you created a configuration previously part of creating a configuration is is authenticating with Google, allowing Google access to this user's calendars, that the, the, the API key that is that Zulu is using at the point of the, uh, you know, at the point of creating the configuration that is stored inside the configuration. So if you create, if you create a configuration previously and then change your Google API key, going forward syncs will not work until you recreate that configuration and embed the new Google API key inside the configuration. Uh, so that's something you want to be wary of. Uh, try, to, try to knock out this step early so you don't run into problems like that. Um, but, um, but once you have that in place, you can actually go in and see um, you could w w once you once you actually start running syncs and you start making API requests to Google, you'll you'll start to see your sort of your your level of traffic here um, in the Google Developer Console, which is which is kind of neat. So you can see the actual activity, what what people are you know how how, how much activity you're generating. Um, anyway, so that's it. Uh, you know, if you guys have any problems, feel free to reach out to our support team and, and we can help you out. Uh, okay, thanks. Bye.